Hey you everyone, welcome to a new video and today we have a special kind of item recycle event to showcase. We are going to exchange 1200 Overlord Tapofini stickers which equals to 30 million recycle points and our main goal with this video is obviously to get all the shiny coins available through the recycle event we are going for flash diancy we are going for flash uh ho ho and also flash groundon or shiny if you will but before we start just as a reminder if you want to support yourself while also supporting the channel remember to use my code dennyv1 on your aptoid wallet and by doing this you get a bonus of up to 25 percent on your recharges so you are not only helping yourself but you are also helping the channel so thank you now the item recycle event is notorious for multiple things we usually go over here to level up our rotom for example and also our Z rings, but I already have multiple videos of Z rings, Rotoms, etc. So today we are not going for that and we are going instead for the shiny dolls. So, in order to get a shiny doll, you need 200 of the coupons of the respective doll and 200 coupons, it's 10 million recycle points. As I stated in the intro, you can recycle multiple things. For example, you can see like all of these EXP cards that I have been saving up. One important thing though is that you don't want to click on this button because if you click on that button the level up button on your pokemon you will consume all of those exp cards so if you are saving for a recycle event one of the things is like don't go there don't go click on the button so that you can instantly just do something like this you select all the exp cards and you have extra exp saved up so you don't really need to care about this and look at this 151k this is awesome. I'm actually going to recycle right now before I mess it up. Maybe I want to level up some Pokemon, so it's better to do it right now before I mess it up. But then we also have some Overlord stickers, right? Overlord Regigigas. If you are not using Overlord Regigigas yourself, it's not a big boost as a support Pokemon, so you can sacrifice some of the Overlord Regigigas stickers. But then we have Overlord Tapu Fini stickers. Now, how did I get... 1200 overlord top of Fini stickers there was an event two weeks ago where the whole happy exchange was at 50 percent discount but on that happy exchange and usually what i even recommend on normal happy exchanges is if you are hunting for a shiny doll and you want to recycle points Top of Fini Overlord stickers are the best because they provide you with the biggest value out of uh, how much you spend. But on top of that, on that week, a full exchange of Overlord Top of Fini stickers, which were half the price by the way, you could get a total of 1,200 Overlord Top of Fini stickers, which is exactly what I have right now. But keeping in mind that usually I only recommend you spending uni shards if you have enough to exchange for strike cards. And for example, I could spend a little bit and go for the normal dolls for example because they cost 5 million points but honestly the normal dolls don't have in battle stats this is the keyword of why the shiny dolls are so good because the not in battle stats they are not being multiplied by your stats directly they are calculated based on your base stats i don't know the exact formula but you can you can tell that it's like very very low so for me the normal dolls have smaller priority the shiny dolls have a huge priority because because it, all of them are in battle stats. Look at this, in battle speed by 5, then oppose damage plus 10%. We will check what that is in a bit. We have HP plus 10, taken damage minus 5%. It's amazing. So without further ado, we select all the top of any Overlord stickers, 30 million points. And we just press recycle. And now we have to be careful with one thing, which is if we go down to the dolls to the shiny dolls you can see there's a 300 exchange limit remember we only need 200 of each one so right now i even have one because i had probably way too much in the previous um recycle event and i exchanged an extra one but right now we only need 200 so let's go for it actually 198 199 because i already had one so right now i have 200 now let's go for another one let's go over here 
for the flesh Diancy, and then we also go for the flesh Groundon. And there we go, we have enough of the Diancy. let's go for the Groundon now. And finally, we are done with the Groundon. If we go over there to the dolls, we can see that we can exchange all the dolls right here but we are not going to do it we are going to do it one by one we start by the diancy we go to the ground and then we go to the ho-ho because i want to show you guys what this opposed damage is so i'm going to select my rayquaza team and i'm going over here on the friends list for example against bruno and i'm going to take a look at my rayquaza stats as soon as the battle starts we can see that we have 400k physical attack and 929k special attack let's take a look at those stats you guys can take a look at the other ones and we are going to exchange the shiny diancy doll oh but one thing that i want to show before that if we go and use the dragon move against that latias over there you could see there was blue damage blue damage that means that it's just normal super effective damage there's no multiplier this knowledge might be useful for in a little bit when we exchange the shiny ho ho doll let's go our first doll the shiny diancy and if we go and try to showcase it it jumps around look at that <laughs> how cute uh, something important to say though is like you don't need to have the doll following you in order to get the boost but oh my god is this five percent this was huge especially because i'm also in the early game so those in battle stats you can notice it much more my physical attack jumped from 400k to 424k this is not five percent and the special attack also jumped like quite a lot oh um yes of course it's not five percent it's eight percent so obviously that's why we were getting extra stats and if there's any mathematician in the comments trying to calculate the exact percentage that we got remember there's like more in battle special attack and in battle physical attack buffs that we have from multiple sources so those all of them stack so it will never be exactly eight percent it might be a tiny little bit less but it's still awesome. But okay, let's now take a look at our HP and exchange the ground and doll, which is supposed to give us 10% extra HP. Right now we have 4,554k and we go and activate the doll and we make the doll follow us. And look at that. <laughs> yes, I, I always love the doll animations because you can really understand it. it is a doll and it's not actually a Pokemon and it, it, it looks so cute. And now right after the doll activation, we can see like all of our stats remain the same with the exception of HP. We actually have extra HP. It's working correctly. I just cannot test the damage reduction of the ground and doll itself. But let's just believe that it should be working correctly. So if you are a player that is playing tanky teams, such as Heatran, Flare, Zyger, Diancy, or even just Sword and Shield, it's very recommended that you go for the shiny ground and doll itself. And now, last but not least, let's go for this Ho-Ho. This Ho-Ho provides us speed by 5% and opposed damage plus 10%. Related to speed, we have a battle start speed of 344k, so let's keep that in mind. And let's do, for example, one attack over here to see how much our blue damage is. Around 130... was that 1 million or 131? 131. And now let's just activate the shiny Ho-Ho doll. Now, keeping in mind that these stats are applied to every single Pokémon of your account, okay? This is what the dolls are amazing about and we can see the shiny Ho-Ho, like flapping his tiny wings. <laughs> Looks so cool. And if we get in battle, what do we see? from 344k to 353k i know it might not seem like much but it's quite a lot it's in battle speed we love it but what about the opposing damage plus 10 percent i believe that is restriction damage and we are going to confirm right now please there we go let's go let's go let's go let's go i was excited because this is something that i tested years ago and i was just not sure if it was the right translation or not but that opposed damage is actually restriction damage increase so it's 10 percent extra damage on your super effective moves and if we use for example this dark move over here it will turn our blue damage it used to be blue damage and now it is golden damage because it's above the two types restriction that it usually does and it's freaking 
amazing look at that so with that in mind uh, my opinion on what dolls should you go for as a first doll for example because i know not many people can just go for the three dolls at the same time you just have to go one by one if you have glass cannon teams like myself i have a rayquaza that i want to move first i have a creator arcus that i really want to move first in battle you should go for uh, over here this one the flash ho ho doll because not only gives you five percent speed but also extra restriction damage for your swords and shields for your creator Arceus, Primal Dialga, whatever does super effective damage on the enemy. But if you are playing tanky Pokemon, I would suggest, you know, a uh, Flash Ground and Doll, because it gives you more HP to all of your Pokemon, and also claims to give a bonus of 5% on the damage reduction to all of your team. If your account is full Glass Cannon, the first thing that you do is obviously get to Hoho, -Ho, and the second thing, instead of going for the Ground and Doll, the second thing, I would just advise you to go for the Shiny Diancy Doll, because it increases both physical and special attack to all of your Pokemon in battle, so it's more damage. But now let me just go to the Monster Riot, because I already missed a lot of diamonds. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe, all that good stuff, and I'll see you guys on the next video.